Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 16. This week I'm announcing a new competition. The competition has to do with this motor sensor I've been working on for the camera axe. Uh, with this sensor that you plug into the camera axe, you can control one or two of these motors to do pretty much anything you want with the camera axe. So the actual competition is going to be whoever can make the most helpful contribution relating to this motor sensor will win two of these motor sensors when they're released or an equivalent credit to the uh, camera axe store to buy whatever you want there. So you're probably wondering what makes a helpful contribution so you can you know get out there and win this competition and I left the words pretty vague because I wanted everyone to enter with you know whatever ideas or contributions they have. Uh, it could be something like a new way of using the motor sensor that I hadn't thought of before. It could be uh, helping write some of the software or making a mechanical pan and tilt or a, a rail system or some other mechanical system um, that I hadn't thought of for this sensor. Uh, it could be helping lay out the menus in a better way than I would have thought of. You know, the sky's the limit. Whatever helpful idea you can contribute, you know, put it out there and, you know, maybe it'll be the one that I think is best and, and you'll win. So here's a basic overview of the motor sensor. Uh, first off, you need to be using the Camera Axe 5 or the Camera Axe 5 Shield. Uh, it's not compatible with the Camera Axe 4 or earlier. And this is the Camera Axe 5 Shield. You can see that the motor sensor is plugged into sensor port number one. You could have a motor sensor connected to sensor port number two, so that gives you a maximum of two motors to use in this competition. Uh, you can see that uh, the motor gets its power from a pack of AA batteries like this, and uh, this is the software I've set up right now. It's just some basic test software. Uh, it lets you control the motor speed and the direction of each of the motors. So you can see that it's working. And, you know, I will publish the uh, PCB files uh, for this motor sensor board so you can see how the layout works. And I'll also publish the, the test software that I've got for the camera axe to control the motor. Um, as starting points for anybody who wants to make a contribution in that area. So where can you put these helpful contributions so you have a chance to win? Well, I'm going to have four different places where you can put these contributions, and there's no advantage to posting to more than one of these sites. Uh, just post to whichever one you have an account on, or you know you, you feel like posting to, but please don't post to multiple ones. Uh, first off, I'm going to have a blog about this on hobby robotics and it allows comments you can put your comments in there I will have this video posted on YouTube and you can put your comments on YouTube uh, there's also tech photo blog you can put comments to an article there and lastly there's the camera X forums I'll have a uh, thread set up for this and you can post your comments there and you know just pick one of them whichever one's most convenient for you, and put your helpful contributions there. Thanks for watching, and good luck.